Okay. Hello, my fine friends, and welcome to. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Another episode of Richard Herring's Twitch of Fun. Oh, I've got a just got a really bad frog in my throat. Just. <coughs> <coughs> It's not COVID. Probably not COVID. I reckon I've had it already. I reckon I had it before all of you lot. We'll get on to that later. <clears throat> nice to see some of the new emojis being used in the chat room. Thanks, guys. Um, do check those out. I don't know what you have to do to get them. Subscribe, probably. Oh, God. <coughs> Should have delayed... Uh, <coughs> Should have delayed starting, shouldn't I? This is no good. Just got, got I've just had my dinner. Um, um, I'm pretty tired. I don't think we're going to do like a full um, uh, hour and a quarter, two hour long show tonight. Um, to be frank, what is this? Episode 26. Half a fucking year of my life gone up in smoke. Or is it episode 27? It's episode 27. More than half a year of my life gone up in smoke. Been doing this almost every week for half a year. And I um, think it might be time that I take a week off, you know. Like a week off where I'm not doing something else. All right, it's not going to be this week, but though I might as well have taken a week off uh, in terms of how much I've prepared. I spent all day. It takes. This show was just meant to be a stupid improvised thing where I talk to one puppet for a bit and then for half an hour, see how it went. And uh, that was it. And then now look at me. It's a hundred puppets. I'm not going to. I haven't prepared anything for. If anyone crops up, they just crop up. I haven't prepared anything. For, you know, the birthday donkey's got some birthdays. That's it. Um. I might not even get any of the puppies out. I might just have a little chat with you and then go to bed, because um, I'm giving I'm giving my life away for you guys here. I'm killing myself for you guys, and what am I getting in return? Oh, some emojis in my fucking chat room. Thanks a lot. Where's my TV show? Where's my film? Crew? I've got a I've got a I mean two films. Where's my um, Oscars and Baftas and stuff for doing this? What's going on? Why is there a little buzzing weird sound down here? What's going on? There's like a little boop, boop, boop going on down here. Can you hear it? One of these puppets has come alive. He's going to kill me. Um, and like I'm back homeschooling as well, which is making me very upset. But today was actually okay. We did two things in our hour long fucking lesson and... Uh, it was she was better. It was OK. I was better. The, as I said on Rehearsal yesterday, um, on Tuesday, just frustrating. She didn't want to learn. I didn't want to teach her. Just all she had to do was write five questions to a fictional mythical frog. <clears throat> it was I just said, just do it. Then we can stop. Then you can play a game. And she said, I can't do it. I can't do it. Do it. Just ask a question. Just ask a frog a question. What's wrong with you? I can't do it. Right. What's it like being a frog? It's a, a mythical Aboriginal frog she had to, with, who's got all the water of Australia in its stomach and she had to write five questions to it, just write them down. And, you know, there was a point when I thought, when's this going to be useful? Why are they teaching her this? When's this going to be useful in real life? Oh, thank God I learned how to write five questions to a frog full of water that well, doesn't release the water and lets it laugh in. There's some weird buzzing going on. It's not Brian Wasp. It's like a... Ooh. It's like a phone going off. I think someone might be playing some music out in the street. Just, yeah, I've, I can't come... I can't teach my kids and have a career and write some stuff and then come here and do the news review to you in front of a rainbow. I've, you know, I've got to have some time to myself. Um, took so long. So tickety licky or something he's called. He's from Aborigine. Sorry, that's probably offensive now to say the name of a made up Aborigine god and say all oh, Aborigine religion is rubbish. That's probably that's probably offensive to Aborigines now, isn't it? The way it's going. 
Um, so, you know, I can't believe... What is the noise? I know you can't hear it. Is it Conspiracy Theo? It's like someone's doing Morse code. It's not coming out of there. That's really annoying me. It's not tinnitus, tinnitus. Ah. Just leave me alone. Why'd you keep coming here? 181 people expecting me to entertain you with puppets. I haven't got anything. There was no good news. I've not, you know, I've got other stuff on my mind. I've got to teach my own kids. My son, who's three, he thinks, he says, give me a hand five. He thinks it's hand five. So it gives me a hand five. Who's teaching these kids? Give me a hand five, Daddy. It's a high five. Is there like some people outside my house playing on their car stereos? <sighs> Don't know what it is. Well, anyway. Ah. Uh. That's seven minutes done. <laughs> so uh, the news in is uh, Boris Johnson. There he is. He's gone to Scotland. Uh, he's got, uh, he says, it's, too, it's not the time to be learning lessons from how the COVID crisis has been handled. That time will come later. Uh, you know, I would say probably try and learn the lessons while you're trying to deal with it rather than after you've failed to deal with it. He's um, he's managed to not look after people's health. He's managed to not keep businesses going. And yet people still seem intent on Jim Davidson was uh, went crazy just like on talking to himself on a fucking camera, putting it on the Internet. It just looked like a madman going nuts. He was having to go at Piers Morgan. I'm going to have a go at you, Jim Davidson. What's wrong with you? Don't get in the camera and you're at your home and think you're on TV. You're not. You're just talking to yourself in your dressing gown, mate. You look mad. So, um, try, I don't understand people who, like someone on Twitter said, oh, well, they, they, it was projected there'd be 400,000 deaths, so they're actually doing pretty well. And that was the worst case scenario was there might be 400,000 deaths. I don't think you go, oh, there's only been 100,000, and that's in two years, so... It would only be two. It's half of what it's of the worst case scenario, and it hasn't finished yet. You know, I wouldn't start crying. Oh, it hasn't been. Four, it hasn't been yeah. Oh damn! So I might have a week off next week. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure, and I, you know, I haven't had time to write and film any sketches for you this week. I know you want that. No chance. No time. Um. So, you know, I think maybe, uh, maybe I won't do it every week. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see what Tamashanta thinks about <laughs> about uh, Boris Johnson. Go, I hadn't planned, I hadn't planned anything, it's just down here. Hello, Richard. I hope you had a happy dance night. I hope you what night? Dance night. I hope you had a happy dance night. And I hope. Uh, top of the morning to you. Don't say top of the morning, that's Irish. Okay. Okay, Denise. I hope you're all right. I hope everything's going okay. Because it's me, Tana Shanta, and Declan from Scotland. And I hope you're all the real, the nick, the drick, the nick. Um, yeah. What do you think about Boris Johnson going to Scotland? Richard, I thought you were trying to keep us in the union. That, uh... You, you, why are you sending Doris Johnson? He's gonna scare us. Up. He's like a noose around the house. And he's gonna scare us. Up. He's gonna do terrible. So, it seems to me like you want us to leave. And we're happy to leave. And we'll take our oil with us. We'll go back to the EU. Don't, um, I think the, the, the English government will have to 
the UK government will have to give you permission, I think, to leave. I think I read something about... Not Richard, I'd like to see you three and stutters. Do you think the Edinburgh Fringe is going to happen this year? Is it? Doc Richard, no. And we're better off without you. Can I not ruin in our beautiful English city of Edinburgh? I mean, it is essentially English, yeah. I mean, it's a billion pounds to the economy. Yes, but at least there's no Sassanax coming up and running a digital city. The noise. Can you hear that sound? I can hear there's something. It's like a speaker or something. Something's going on. Let me see if I can hear if I come over here. You think I'm going mad? Yes, you need to go mad, lad. You need to go mad. Shall we just do the whole show with you and me? I would like that, Richard. That, that would be very nice. That would be extremely nice if you just. I, I don't know what to say. I'm only joking. I don't think it would work. Okay. That is so mean of you, Richard. <laughs> what? It's very mean of you to trick me like that. I thought I was going to be the main character. You're one of the main characters. A lot of people... I don't know if there's an emoji of you. I don't think... I don't think there is. Let's see if there's an emoji of you, if anyone can put... Is there, is there a Tamashanti? Um, uh, um, my name's Tamashanti. Is it? Okay. There's one of Jimmy Savile there. Uh, there's one of uh, the Cocky Cat. Cocky Carrot's got one. Has he? Yep. There's one of, uh, blimey, Conspiracy Theo's got one. Fucking hell, what the fucking insult? He's only dinner that one episode. Yeah, it's, again, it's the anti-Scottish media. Um, we were talking about this to Ashley Story and Rehusper last night. Uh, she'd love this. I hope she's tuning into this. She'd love to see Scotland represented uh, on screen. Um... But I think it's the media who does want it. Well, Richard, that's very sad. I'm going to go out and drink my whiskey and eat some meats and tatties. And then, uh, yeah, what else? Wear some tartan. Yeah, good. What else are you going to do? I. It's almost like you're not Scottish and you can't think of anything. I'm going to go and eat some fudge from the Royal Nile. That's not really the kind of thing a Scottish person... I'm going to eat my tablet, Richard. You want your tablet? You're going to eat your tablet? Yes, that's a Scottish thing, a tablet. A taglet. A tablet. You know I'm saying tablet. I don't know why you are trying to make it. I'm not saying tablet. I'm clearly saying tablet. Hmm. I mean, it works with any of you guys. It, don't really, it doesn't really matter. You're all... You're all pretty fun. What's that fucking buzzing? Boop, boop, boop. Boops, like that. The light. Just give me a second. I'll tell you what, this is a good chance for me to use this. We're back. Hello there, it's me, Ali. I'm back. I'm back. It's not this silly Scottish guy. It's me, Ali, and it's nice to see you. You're talking a slightly Scottish, more Scottish than uh, Tamashanta. Ah, uh, hello, it's me, Ali. Is that that? That's how I talk, isn't it? Oh, you got a bit of hair sticking out the back here. Deadhead, Richard. Uh, I'm not saying I'm riding up there, but I got deadhead. You got what? A deadhead? A deadhead? Deadhead. I don't understand what you're saying. Um. I'm winking at it. Yeah, we all, we all know. I ain't cheeky me. Can you hear that buzzing? Yes, I can hear it fine, Richard. Thank you. It's lovely. What What is it? It's buzzing. There's some buzzing. No, there's no buzzing. It's, it's buzzing. I can hear it. It's like... Duz, duz. Du, du, du. It's really like someone... Maybe it's someone... Uh, a ghost. Maybe it's the Victorian ghost child trying to communicate from the dead. You never know, Richard. It could be, it could be any of the crazy characters. Look, I've been thinking. You, you, you've been working very hard. How's your bollocks, by the way? Um, I don't know what you're saying. My what? Your bollocks, your dolls. I don't know what you're talking about. Everyone's very concerned about your dolls, Richard. Well, you know, I'm with the NHS and uh, no, no results through yet. 
because COVID's going on at the same time, so it's difficult to. Oh dear, that's, that's, that's well, you know, it's, uh, it's only uh, it's playing on my mind. Oh, that, is that where your bollocks are? <laughs> Don't go and die, me, Richard. I've had that happen with your family before, and it's not very nice of you. I'll go quiet again. I'm gonna be fine. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, just got a big. I've got a big. I've got a big bollock. Got one big bollock. Okay. They've had a look at it. <laughs> okay. Um, you know. Got to wait and I've got to wait and, and find out what's going to go on. Okay, that's fine. And you know, if it comes off, new character, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. That's a good character you could have, isn't it? The uh, your your own bollock. It tried to kill you. It gave it gave a lie to your kids that it tried to kill you. Oh, I don't want that. The actually, I hope that doesn't happen because that sounds like a pretty good character. So uh, let's hope we'll be all right. Well, I I hope I'll be okay. I'm feeling fine. Look, I'm looking great, and I'm really fat. So I think uh, I think I'll be all right. I just am hearing like a weird buzzing. Yeah, I'm hearing that. Um, I think it might, it might be that sort of the radiator. I don't know what it is, Richard. No one at home can hear it. You're just looking mental. I'm very worried about your dental state. So I, they called me up. I was going to take the week off. And all your fans have been tweeting me, getting in touch on Instagram, direct messages, sending me pictures of their the rests, of their what? Their, their, their dozens? I don't know what that is. They've been sending me pictures. I mean, are you saying breasts and bosoms? Because there's like, you know, this is all... You've seen the pictures that come up. It's all... Hideously ugly, weird men that follow me. Well, they didn't send any pictures of their dress, Richard. Well, they probably do have breasts, to be fair, most of them. Um, and they're, they're very concerned that you seem a little uh, unsteady. Oh, I'm fine. I mean, you know, what, they, this whole thing is an uh, experiment, isn't it? It's like uh, you don't know whether I, I'm really upset or whether it's uh, whether it's part of the act. Oh, is it? Is there an act? Is there? Yeah, it's a character. The character of Richard Herring is, you know, I'm. It's very different than the real me. Is it? I haven't noticed any difference really between the uh, character and between you. Well, there's loads of differences, um, and that's the pro the problem with this. What's the problem, Richard? Oh, no, don't start doing that again. We did that for the first couple of weeks, and then we stopped it because it was, it wasn't any good, and no one remembered it except that one bloke who mentioned it two weeks ago. What? What, what was the problem? The problem, you know, that's the problem. Tell me what the problem is, Richard, please. Just stitch it out. I'm trying to tell you what the problem is, Ali. And the problem is with this. So what's the problem? You know, I'm if you just, if you haven't keep asking what the problem was, I'd have told you what the problem is by now. What is, what is the problem, though? What is, I'm linking at it. I'm linking at it. As I say, I'm linking at it. And I'm cheeky. And I'm flea dagging. And flea dagging. You're not flea bagging. Aside, I'm not flea dagging. It's not like flea bag invented looking at the camera any more than Stuart Lee invented re repetition, is it? It's not... I don't know, why is it associated with one person? Why is it associated with one person? I don't know. Why is it associated with one person? I don't know. That's what I'm like. Why is repetition associated with one person? When... It's a comic trope. People are... Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's a comic trope. Why is repetition associated with one person? Why is Lee Dug in associated with just with Lee Dug? I don't know. I mean, she was clever because she named the... The TV series after what she was doing, didn't she? And so, after the after the act of flea bagging, so people now go, "Oh, flea bag must have done that first, because it's called flea bagging." Yes, this is going great, Richard. What's the problem? I'm not. The problem is, what? Just tell me what the problem is, and then we can get on with this. This is you're wasting time. You told your wife you'd be half an hour. You need done half an hour already. You haven't even done the fucking birthdays. Um, the problem is that. I'm sort of pretending to be crazy in this. I you don't break the fourth wall, mate. I'm I'm not. I'm just reassuring people. I'm pretending to be mad. Yeah. The, so what's the problem? But the problem is, what is the problem? Why aren't you saying what the problem is? I want to know what the problem is. That's what I'm just interested in. What the problem is? I'm just interested in hearing the problem. I don't know why. I don't know. Even with the beard, is the fucking neck flaps still good? Aren't they? Do you still go? The neck flaps are a problem. Okay. Um. The problem is, if I do go mad, you know, well, what will people know? How will people tell? Hmm? I think they can tell. What? I think they can tell. You think they can tell? Yeah, I think they can tell. You can tell, can't you? 
aside, he's clearly in that from the beginning. He's talking to a fucking puppet, the idiot. I can hear you when you say aside. You can't. I said aside. So you can't hear me. Not aside anymore. Um, I haven't gone mad. It's all like part of the artifice. It's a sophisticated satire of uh, the, the the trajectory of uh, of a of a someone in showbiz and his his career. You know, and maybe Jim Davidson's trying the same thing. I don't know. Maybe maybe he is. But, uh, don't worry, Rich. I think you're fine. I think you're. What are you laughing at? I just find you telling me you think I'm fine. It's, I don't think you need to worry, mate. I think you'll be okay. I don't think you're mad. I think your nuts will just, you know, it'll turn out to be... Look, what's the worst case scenario? Well, the worst case scenario is I have testicular cancer and die. Yeah, okay. That, was, that wasn't probably the, that probably wasn't the best reassuring thing to say. Uh, but probably that won't happen. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Have you ever died before, Richard? Well, not literally. I've died. I feel like I might be dying a little bit here. Uh, I can hear a... Every time I sp It's only happening when I speak, and then when I stop speaking. Do you think it's you? It might be my ball. Do you think it's my ball? Just rubbing. Could be. It's already trying to get on the act. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, what do you think about Boris Johnson? Yeah, he's a cunt. Not a fan of his? No, not a fan of the Nathan Richard. It's not. I don't. I in the in, in partial in politics. Uh, that uh, it's not the microphone. No, the microphone's hit there, and the noise is coming from over there. Stop now. Might be somebody with my ears. Uh, I've, had, I've got bad ears as well. I mean, to be honest, I'm 53. I've had a good knock. You have. I'm 128. You're still, yeah, you're still 128. Um, are you 129 now? I'm 129, actually. No, no, no. You're talking, no, you're mentioning it. When are you going to celebrate my birthday? Gonna am I on the birthday list. I should have on the birthday list. I'm 129. I'm 129. Woohoo! I'm cheeky me. Yeah, actually, I think you're right. I've got the piece of paper but i think it was sort of the tw it was almost exactly what is it the 20 i think you're a just wow i can't believe we missed that you're 129 get that donkey out here now oh we don't i hate that donkey get the donkey out again well we've got other people to do the birthday i want my birthday i'm going to do 129 bunny hops he's not bunny hops he's a he's a he's a donkey do it are we going to go and do any other more news items we've done 23 minutes and we've only we've only done one you, why are you going to Scotland, Richard? That's what that's what Tamashan said. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. Is he trying to do the, the last thing? I wonder, actually, and with the the whole news has gone a bit trading places. We might talk about that. You know, in trading places, the two old guys and they have a bet for one dollar of where they can basically ruin someone's life. Yet, I wonder if at some point David uh, David Cameron and Boris Johnson had a bet saying which of us can actually just fuck up the whole country and fuck it it's for a quid. Which of us can really fuck up the country? We're going to fuck up the EU. We're going to destroy the Union. We're going to have the economy fucked. In introduce some kind of disease that will kill loads of people. Uh, and whoever fucks up the world the best gets the pound. Yeah, could be. I think it's only the old Doris Johnson. Well, you know, is it David Cameron's fault as well? Might have been Michael Gove. and Might have been Donald Trump and Boris Johnson. Could be, Richard. You might be onto something there. Uh, the Duke Brothers, that's right. Monkey Shaver there. Thank you. Um, have you seen the news? Have you seen that news about the? Uh, let's have a look if I've got the yeah, the about uh, GameStop. Yeah, I've seen it. it. Nearly makes me understand the end of uh, trading places, which I watched recently. And by the way, <laughs> uh, we watched it quite recently again, and there's a lot in there that you should be worrying about. Yeah, is it? Yeah, there's some stuff. Oh, you know, there's a lot of things that have been cancelled recently, and there's uh, some good reasons to cancel a lot of trading places. Is it really? Yeah, it's a weird third act. It sort of doesn't really explore the conceit. It starts off as one thing and then it turns into a, a very strange farce involving blackface and rape. Um, and a sort of a, a plot of that is, isn't really understandable. But it's basically what's happening in GameStop is they're short selling it. And then people have come in to fuck up this these people, the stock market. Yeah, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it, Richard. Uh, I really still don't understand it because like they... 
The people who are short selling. Yes, you do tell me not, Richard. You seem very knowledgeable about this. Well, I'm not really very knowledgeable. I understand you're a little drunk. I am a little drunk. Um, they borrow the shares, right? Which I I don't understand, right? They borrow the shares and they sell them. Yeah, which I don't. When you borrow something, you can't. Why are you allowed to sell it? And then, you, but you only sell it for a bit, and then you get it back. And then hope you're hoping that the shares will lose value, so you'll buy it back for less than they paid you for it when they when they sold it to you so you'll make you know it's say it's 10 pounds and they sell it back for seven pounds you make three pounds yeah why does anyone fucking buy the things from the short selling block guys they must know it's it's that they guys are taking the piss why would you buy the borrowed shares that you're going to get back just on the hope that they, 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 they don't know what they're doing yeah well they don't know what they're doing do they just unloaded things on reddit the fuck they're not well, I, you know, I think the stock exchange is where money goes beyond. It be, I mean, money, uh, Ali. Yes, do go on. You're being fascinating, Richard, with your economic theories based on no fucking evidence or scholarship at all. But uh, just uh, my understanding of money, it's a, it's a, uh, you know, it's a conceit, isn't it? It's uh, we all buy into it, literally. I like it, Richard. It's very funny. Um, but. If we all just tomorrow said, I'm not going to set this, is, it isn't count as anything. Now I'm not going to count this as money. It doesn't matter anymore. It's a useful system so that we don't have to barter a sheep for 10 loaves of bread or whatever it would be. We can just go, well, here's the equivalent value of both of these things. There you go. But then when it gets into this world where people are sort of making up stuff and selling, selling imaginary things, it's all fucking in people's minds, yeah? And people are billionaires, yeah? And then they're not billionaires, yeah? You said billionaires really well. I think I can say my D's. You can say your D's. I know you can say your D's. No, I can say my D's. My D's. I can say my D's very well. Still sounds like D's. I can say the letter D. D. A. D. C. No, A. B. C. It's A. B. C. D. D comes forth. A. D. C. Say B. B. C. D. D. C. D. D. C. D. D. C. D D C. No, you haven't got it yet. I thought I'd got it. You haven't got it. I thought I'd got it. <sighs> well, we don't really understand, but that that and Boris Johnson trying to fuck up the country, I think we're living in trading places. Yeah, it could be. As long as Jane Neely Curtis unnecessarily gets her dress out in the shower, I'm all on board. What, even now? Yeah, Richard, I don't mind. She's still a very young woman to me. Yeah, that was ageist of me, I'm afraid. I would like to apologise for that. Um, breasts are beautiful. Uh, at whatever age they may be, not all of them, Richard. Um, so, so the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Duty is in the eye of the beholder. Duty is in the eye of the beholder. Dress, dress, face, duty is in the eye of the beholder. Did somebody say dressed? Woohoo! Cocky carrot there. there is, I've actually got a. I've got something that you might want to. As someone in the chat room has already pointed out, you should have come up at BBC. That's why. That's not got a double entendre. It really has got a double entendre. Is it? Yeah. It's not. I mean, again, it's the kind of thing that will be in the third act of Trading Places. So, let's not get into it. Okay. Um. Oh look! 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 Oh, there's knee. There's knee in the chat room. There's hundreds of knee. Hey, like a sort of candle. Or you really like Ed the Duck and that from a distance. Yeah, you haven't got your glasses on. <laughs> Did somebody say duck? Sounds like fuck. Sounds like fuck. Woohoo! Let's uh, play your signature tune. You're going, you're not, Richard, aren't you? you enjoy it, then you get going. You enjoy it, don't you? I know, I sort of I sort of resent having to do this all day long. And then when it comes along, I have the time of my life. It's because we have needing friends, Richard. You know, you, it's locked down, you're not seeing many people, and then you come up here and you get to talk to your friends, and that's all you needed. There is sociability, otherwise, you will go crazy, won't you? If you're just sitting around by yourself, that there's me, there's Tamla Shanta, there's Cocky Carrot, you need us, and you feel like you've been out for a night on the town with your friends. Let's play Cocky Carrot's thing. He looks like a 10 inch penis crossed with Ed the Duck. He thinks he is the greatest and he doesn't give a damn. He's God's gift to vegetables and he's extremely phallic. What a fucking fucker! It's Cocky Carrot. Did somebody say Cocky Carrot? Because that's me! Woohoo! 
Uh, you are, the, you know, the standout character for me. Fuck the king of the world. Yeah, did someone say the ring of the world? No, no, they really didn't. The ring of the anus? No, they didn't, they really didn't say that. Wahoo! Why have you got me on, Richard? What do you want to say? Well, because, uh, A, I thought you would like to see, uh, I just like, you know you think you're a real carrot. I am a real carrot. Woohoo! I just like to show you Nosy Carrot from last week. He was just here seven days ago, do you remember? Yes, he looked pretty good. Um, here he is now. Here's Nosy Carrot now. Oh, what happened to me? I was so young. I was so beautiful. I... Did he have an accent last week? I can't remember. Uh, was he French or something? Oh, I was so young and beautiful. What happened to me? Yeah, he was French only because he was like surrounded by Russia. It's coming back to me. I don't. I don't watch this show. Get a little, oh, get a little. What does he cannot need? I am Donald Gray. I was orange, and now I'm as grey as uh, John Major. As I understand, was the English Prime Minister twenty-five years ago. <laughs> See, that's what happens to a real carrot. If you are a real carrot, cocky carrot, I am a real carrot. You would have faded into that. You did. You that happened to you twice. No, it didn't. Don't you remember? I sort of remember a dream I had of where that happened. That I just thought, you know, that I must have eaten some cheese or something. And that you're a carrot. You don't eat anything. Where's your mouth? I oh, it's just under the the dell end of my penis head. That's my mouth. Just imagine that moving. Did somebody say cheese? Yeah, you, you did. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> can I put nose? Is oh, please kill me, kill me now! I just want to die. Please. No, you have to stay there, just so that. Oh. oh, cocky. Maybe it was that. Maybe it was the sort of lava eye inside of a uh, nosy carrot that were making the noise. Can't hear it now. I think it was just madness. Uh, I wanted to show you this. I don't know if you saw this story of uh, Yvette Amos. Did somebody say anus? Is that anus? Yeah, that's good. No, I said Amos. Amos. Yvette. Did somebody say... It? Yeah, you don't try and do it with every word because it's not going to work. This is Yvette Amos. Uh, she was on BBC Wales. Uh, and um, during a report, she was sat in front of a bookshelf. I don't know what they were talking about. Um, uh, and uh, they were in, they were discussing her unemployment experience during the pandemic. She is unemployed. And uh, it went viral because if you look in the background on the shelf up there, can you see top shelf? There's a big, uh, big penis. Did somebody say penis? Yeah, it is, but it look that looks. Can you see it? That's not what a penis looks like. It is. It's so scary. What are those things underneath it? Those are the balls. Oh my god, that's terrible. So she's she's got. I, if anyone has that and wants to send it in, uh, I'm going to do a character called Cocky Cock. He's going to be cocky, unlike you, and he's going to. Uh, you know, good luck to her. What you know, either she put that there, there as a joke to see if she'd get away with it. Good luck to her, or she likes having sex with uh, dildos. Look, if anyone had a, this in their house and didn't try and stick it in themselves a few times, she has tried, and successfully. Yes, successfully. Please send help, please. I'm so afraid. Um, then you know, that's fine. She's allowed to uh, pleasure herself with a massive dong. That's okay. Did somebody say dong? It's not a double entendre. You've got to come up with it's a double entendre. You absolutely nearly 100% failed to get any of this. You're not a carrot. You're some, you know, whatever you are. <laughs> I've forgotten what you're made out of. Yeah, you're very tired, aren't you, Richard? Resin. You're made out of resin. Someone just reminded me in my ear. Isn't You haven't got any of these, Richard. Well, someone's talking to me. The producers are... Yeah, you think she knew that we move on? Yeah, she knew on. This is boring. That cocky cat's not good a character. You think I should move the um? I'm glad that that no one can hear. Yeah, it's just it's not. I think it's it's run its course. Like a lot of the characters are 
through you and the coarseness, I think of these could you not bring in so many than that that uh, I would say that uh, cocky carrots are the I think this is just chuck it away. Maybe the ring nosy carrot that. You think you what chuck this one away and bring? Sorry, um, who are you talking to, Richard? Um, the producers just in my maybe they haven't got any of these. Did somebody say teas? Like a tea, like a tea of ass. <laughs> Did someone say traduce that? Like it's on the traduces a baby after the vagina. That's not where babies come from. Yes, it is. <laughs> Maybe it is. I mean, you know, they come from. I don't know. It's, I've seen it happen a couple of times, and it's not nice. Um, we can get into some antics later. All right. Yeah, all right. I think you should. What you really what you should do is not not sit there saying nothing with you. I don't think you need it. You should start talking, say something, say, and then move on to the next thing. Um. So uh, yeah, the producer's up in the box. Uh, just uh, telling me uh, time's pressing against us. Time's clock is pressing against us. So, um, I uh, hope you enjoyed that new uh, spontaneous characterisation. I did. That was good, mate. It wasn't that good, Richard. It wasn't, it wasn't as good as you can do it. It wasn't. Uh, the, the, the tolls, the, the viewing figures are coming in. You've got 236 viewers in. It just. Keep going, it's going all right. Keep going, we need to keep the three viewers on as possible. So, the advertising, didn't know we did advertising, right? Let's so fuck, let's do this. Fuck. Hey, it's me and the king of the world. I'd like to be the king of the world. I jumped around because I'm the king of the world, and don't forget, I'm the king of the world because I'm the king of the world. Hey, hey, Edward is me. I'm the king of the world. I am the king of the world. And here I am. I'm that and the king of the world. You want to talk about any news stories, Richard? Because you can with me. Because I am the king of the world. So I can talk about anything you want. You're in my way a little bit. King of the world. I'm allowed to be in your way, Richard. Because I'm the king of the world. No one can tell me where to stand. No one can tell me what to do. I just do everything myself, cause I am the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. I am the king of the world. Um, it's, we really not going to move this on any further than this. It's like, I don't think it's, I don't think you can have a character in every week and all he does is exactly the same thing. I think you can if he's the king of the world. No, even if he's the king of the world, even if you are the king of the world, you've got to... You know, move the story on, find out. I do not need to move it on, Richard, because I'm already the king of the world. The story starts, I'm the king of the world. And then it continues, I'm still the king of the world. And then at the end, I'm the king of the world. And then you die, and I'm the king of the world. And I carry on being the king of the world. Because I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world! I'm the king of the world. Um, I, don't, I just don't think anyone would like would like this. Uh, beyond, you know, my kids liked you when you came out of the box. What did you say? Do you remember what you said when you came out? Uh, not really remembering. What I, oh, hold on, it's coming back to me. What was it? I'm the king of the world. That's what I said. I came out and said, I'm the king of the world. And then they laughed. And I said, I'm the king of the world. And they laughed. I said, start laughing. I'm the king of the world. And they said, oh, they still were laughing at me. So I smited them down, Richard, because I'm the king of the world. You smited my kids. I smote them. I snowed them good. I snowed them and I snowed them because I'm the king of the world. Well, this is a new thing about smiting and smoking. No, no, not. I'm not going to say that again. All I'm going to say is I'm the king of the world. Watch out in case I snipe you. Have you have you brought anything along this week just to make the king of the world bit a bit different? No. Have you put any thought into what was going to happen in this segment? No. Oh, I didn't need to, Richard, because I'm the king of the world. So I just say what I want. I do what I want. And I'm the king of the world. And what I want to be is the king of the world. And I am the king of the world. So I just carry on doing that. Because I'm the king of the world. And the king of the world. I just think people will be getting... Surely be bored of this now. They'll be the... I am the king of the world. Well, that might make it more interesting if you say it in that. I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. What's your throat? I'm the king of the world. I don't have to do anything else because I'm the king of the world. Let's do a new theme tune. You can use this in their turn. 
Hey, it's me, I'm the king of the world, and I do what I want, cause I'm the king of the world. And I sing this song, cause I'm the king of the world, and I keep singing it along, cause I'm the king of the world. And I am the king of the world, and the king of the world, and the king of the world, and the king of the world. The king of the world. I don't think it's as good as the one you've got. Oh, I'm the king of the world, Rich. I got two stings. Everything else only has one. I got two. I got an instinct and an out sting. You do. They're both the same, basically. Not that they're different. Well, they're both just you saying I'm the king of the world. No. I am the king of the world. I wasn't saying no to that bit. I am the king of the world. I am the king of the world. That I got two. I got an in king of the world. I, 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 I'm the king of the world. And then an out one. Oh, 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 and the king of the world. And now the new one that I just did, and then the whole thing, just take that tape out. Do you think by the end of this, the episode of Twitch Fun will just be playing continuing line of very slightly different stings with you singing jingles? Also, Richard, also, we don't have to tell anyone to put the music on because I'm so good at singing. We don't need no music. I'm just the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. Uh, and the king of the world, and the king of the world. Do you think, in this, by doing this for so long, we're parodying the ineffectualness and and patheticness of catchphrase comedy? I don't know about that, Richard, because a a lot of this show seems to be catchphrase comedy. I didn't say that. And b and the king of the world. So that's what I think. And the king of the world. Well, it's lovely to see you. Can you come back next week? Yeah, I've got nothing on because I'm the king of the world. There's no, no duties. No. I I just I let everyone else do the stuff. Why? If you're the king of the world, you don't have to do nothing, Richard. That's the whole point of being the king of the world. If I had to spend the whole time doing things, I delegate, is what I'm trying to say. I delegate the work. I say, hey, you guy, I'm the king of the world. Go and do this with me. And he says, okay, you're the king of the world. I better do it. So I end up doing nothing except telling people that they should do the things that I need to do as the king of the world. Because I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. Well, it's an interesting look at the royal family. Here we go. This uh, is my uh, second uh, sting, Richard. I know, shush, you, you uh, spoiling uh, it. I'm the king of the world. Oh, I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. Don't sing over the top of your oh, own. Oh, I can do what I want because I'm the king of the world. I know, but it spoils the... Don't look at the armies. I'm the king of the world. Don't do that. Do a revolt. Do a revolution against me because I'm the king of the world. And the king of the world. And the king of the world. Sing over the sting. And the king of the world. Oh, so look, we're not going to do much more. What else have I got to talk about? Woohoo! Do you you want to talk about the penis? I'm scared of that penis, Richard. I'm scared. Woohoo! I don't like actual rude things. I just like things that resemble things or sound like something that's rude. I don't want to see a rude thing. I don't want to see an actual willy. It's too scary. Well, it's not an actual willy. It's, um, I hope it's not an actual willy. It would be amazing if we'd caught, um, oh, what's her face? What's her name? Uh, Yvette, wasn't it? Yvette, if Yvette was a serial killer and she'd accidentally just left part of one of the victims up on a shelf. That would have been embarrassing for a vet. But she seems like a game girl. And I, I for one, like her a lot. And um, I hope all the dildo companies send her lots of free dildos to make up for the embarrassment of uh, being on BBC Wales. I'm not with a dildo in the background, just on BBC Wales. I'm on Twitch channel, which is better than BBC Wales. Am I right? Yeah, just a just... Look, I want us all to break apart, guys. I'm with Boris Johnson here. I've been sent to alienate the Scottish, the Welsh, Irish next. Irish next. Uh, let's bring back... Uh... Hello, it's me. I'm winking at it. You're really winking, aren't you? I'm cheeky, me. I'm very cheeky. That's the thing about me. Is Sally going to come in today? No, she hasn't been in for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I know. Uh, I haven't killed her. I will come to your house tonight and kill you, though. Don't fall asleep tonight if you fall asleep. You'll wake up, and I'll be lying in bed next to you, and I'll be going, I'm flea-dagging, I'm flea-dagging, I'm wanking at it, winking at it, yeah, that's what I said. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we want to talk about. Uh, oh, I thought you might be interested in this story. Let me see if I've, I've got this written out. Um, 
Uh, there's an appeal after Gentle Soul rolled off Road Officer Allen is kidnapped. You know, I find all the stories. Richard. I do. I work very hard on this show. It's just sometimes it's difficult to find anything to actually do. Yes, you do. You do work very hard. Aside, you clearly don't work very hard. I just come in and rescue the show by being very funny. While you just are floundering around shouting about how difficult your life is. I can hear you when you say aside. Uh, Ray Road Safety Office. I got this from Apple News. Might have been on Sky News. Road Safety Officer Allen has been kidnapped, in inverted commas, from his post, and residents of Braemar are appealing for his return. Oh, no. I thought you'd like it because it's sort of puppet-based. That is a nanakin, Richard. Clearly a nanakin, not a puppet. Please do not offend me with your wrong calling of things. I thought in Victorian times people didn't mind about that. We mind very much. You have to use the right terminology, and I am not a nanakin. Um, are you all right? Everything. I'm, I'm just hoping I'm not destroying you. I'm, I'm all right. I'm holding it together. Uh, the mannequin. You're right. It's a, it's a mannequin. Has been stationed on the A93 in Aberdeenshire for two months, reminding drivers to slow down for the village's 30 miles per hour speed limit. Do you think it disappeared because it heard Doris Johnson was coming to Scotland, and so he didn't want to be around? I'm linking at it. That's pretty good. That was pretty good off the cuff. That could be on the news quiz, that, mate. You could do that. could be on the news quiz, that joke. That's how good it is. Thank you very much. That could be on the Now Show. Someone could have done that on the Now Show on the actual radio. Do you think it was that that the mannequin heard that Doris Johnson was coming? Yeah, I and mean, we heard you the first time. Don't, you look very pleased with yourself having come up with an actual joke. Yeah, I just, I just thought of that just then. I know you did. I, I combined the two stories, Richard. There was a story about Scotland and thought, Oh, that reminds me of the previous story. What if I back refer to that? It will appear clever, won't it? It will appear clever. If you just back refer, yeah, you just have to back refer, and it appears clever. Is it clever? It isn't clever. That's the. I'm three dagging. I'm three dagging. I'm linking at it. Um, Gever Blackton, Jeeva Black at sorry, Jeeva Blackett, councillor for Aboin, Upper Deesha and Donside. These places are made up. They, are, I think they are. Do you think this? Do you think the Scottish people were just having a laugh? I think they're just having a laugh of that shit. I think they're annoyed at the Steed and the Stone of Scudden. The Stone of Scudden! And uh, that was a good impression of uh, Tam Shanta, thank you. And uh, they, they just they got stupid names and all this stuff and thought, let's see if the English go along with it. Um, this, is turned, this is going a very Lawrence Fox direction. I'm not happy about uh, Alan was last seen at 1.30pm on Saturday before disappearing, not of his own volition. In a Facebook post, she wrote, Alan took great pride in his role of reminding people driving into Braemar from Glen Shee, that's not a real place, on the A93, that they were in a 30 mile per hour speed limit. Children, elderly folk and red squirrels are all at risk if people forget. It almost feels like uh, Jeeva Blackett is taking the piss here. Now he's gone, not of his own volition. Someone has taken him. Have you seen Alan? Whoever kidnapped him, please give him back. He was last seen at 1.30. He's a gentle soul, never offends anyone, as well liked here in Braemar. Braemar. Miss Blackett said she'd initially asked the local police officer if a cutout police officer, inspector of a cutout police officer, could be placed at the roadside to warn the speedsters, but there were none spare, so Alan was drafted in. There is no word of replacement during Alan's unplanned absence. Did you steal him, Richard? Well, it would be a good character. If anyone did steal him and wants to make a few bob, I will buy Alan off of you, uh, and he could be a character on this show. In fact, he could just sit here and be me, because he's, I think he's life size. You can see from those two pictures he's got. Very good that you managed to find some artificial human news, Richard. I'm, I, I'm touched that in your difficult times you're going through that you managed to think of someone other than yourself. I know it's I'm, an, I'm a nice guy. What can I say? Um, oh, there's a super gran as well. I don't know what you think about this super gran. We'll look at this story. We'll go have some birthdays and then we'll go home. Um... There she is. She is called Jean Clark. Oh, yes. Uh, and she has 184 living relatives that have sprung from her loins. Every single one of them. Well, probably 184. There might be a few people who are results result of affairs who have, have parents that they that aren't their actual parents. But let's be kind and let's say all of them. And even that, that's statistically very unlikely. Uh, that 100. She's a great grandma and had 100. She's great, great. She's got 15 great, great grandchildren. Fucking how old is she? She's from Scotland. She's 52 years old. 
the oldest person in Scotland. Why are you giving the Scottish such a hard time? I don't know. There's just something about them. You're, <laughs> I really like them. I just thought they could take it. She's only 88, so, you know, there you go. Uh, is she from Scotland? Uh, she is from... Doesn't say. I bet it does say. Keep reading. Shall I just read out the paper? Yeah, just read out the paper. These are, these are staying watching. These are really engaged with this, Richard. You're doing a great job. I don't like it when you say I'm doing a great job. I'd prefer it when you're saying I'm doing a bad job. You are doing a great job. You should be very pleased with yourself. Have we got a song to sing at the end of this week? No. There's nothing's presented itself, has it? I and mean, she's actually lost quite a few children, grandchildren. She's so old. Uh, but uh, many of them are alive. This is the most living. Her cousin's just had a baby, so I found my nan. Uh, and what I worry about and what the Daily Mirror are worried about is how she remembers all the birthdays. So the birthday cards, that's what grands need to... Yeah, she needs to send out the birthday cards. Uh, does she remember all 184 birthdays? Christine said, Nan never forgets. She always sends the kids a card. I mean, my parents have difficulty remembering the names of my kids and they've only got six grandkids. One great grandkid. Uh... And I can't remember my own kid's birthday. So for her to... She must spend a lot of her life just writing cards. It must be... That's the production line she's going through. Uh, is it a good thing, Ali, for one person to have... Uh... She's like a rabbit, isn't she? She's like a rabbit. She is a little bit like a rabbit in terms of, you know, giving birth to a lot of a lot of kids who've then given birth to a lot of kids. Um she's worked hard she's from a young age her oldest kid's 68 so she was uh she was you know from, she was a teenager when she first fell pregnant yeah that's right um she loves playing bingo going on holidays you found out where she's from i haven't found out where she's from she's only 88 i mean fucking hell but if she lives another 20 years how many how many people is there going to be 184 people it's wonderful, Richard. She's a little old for my tastes, a little old for Prince Andrew's tastes as well. Is Prince Andrew going to be in today? Yeah, probably not. Uh, I was going to ask, talk to Prince Andrew about uh, Kristen Stewart playing uh, playing Lady Diana. Too many, aren't there? It's just too many Lady Dianas now. It's too, it's too confusing. I like I like the one in the Crown, and, and what more than the original? Yeah, yeah. The original one is no longer with us. Even I, you know, I liked her more than the real, the real one. And now uh, they got the girl from Twilight doing it, and she looks quite good, didn't she? Well, you just put anyone in a hat like that and the wig, and the clothes, and light them like that. You know, you could. I would look like Prince. If you did, I look like Princess Diana. You do. Shall I try it? See if you look like Princess Diana. Yeah, look, we both look like Princess Diana. If you put imagine us with a hat on. Look wistfully. I, I, I have to wink and I keep looking. I'm winking at it. Keep looking wistful. Can you hear the noises? No, the noises stop, Rich. The noises stop. Uh, let's quickly talk to Prince Andrew and see what he thinks about all these laid downers. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, hello, everyone. Good, it's good to. It's very good to be here again. And uh, no one else really likes having me around. How do you feel about... Richard, I agree with you. There are just uh, too many Princess Diana things going on. When is there going to be a drama about me? You're in the crown a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're, they're cheeky about me, and I don't get to do that much. They're a little bit cheeky and pretend they're, they're uninterested in young women. No, that's not on. Uh, I think there will be quite a lot of uh, dramatisations about your life coming up, but I think they're probably just waiting for... Uh, events to play out you think so yeah i think i think you'll i think there'll be some biopics who do you think will play me well probably given my track record of who i get to ask to play i suspect i will be playing you oh you can do the voice you, do. you are very good at the voice you can do my voice exactly can't you i can do i'm not gonna do it now no no no, no. it's rude to uh, do an impression of someone in front of all that while well, you're with them that uh you can't really do the voice should you know, i've got a bit of hiccups there yeah I heard you hiccuping through me talking. It's very rude. I'm the fucking Duke of York, mate. Have some respect. I can have you fucking killed. Okay, I mean, it's, uh, no, it's not. just saying. What do you think happened to Trisus Diana? Well, I don't think she was in an accident, was she? <laughs> yeah, if you like. Kind of an accident. 
Right, well, this is getting a bit dark. It wasn't me. I was uh, in uh, I was in Toys R Us in Stevenage. Isn't that closed now? It has closed now. But uh, that's where I was when when it happened. I wasn't in that theatre. I can tell you that for nothing. You wouldn't see a Duke of the Realm driving a theatre, but you would see him in Peaks Express. Yes. And it couldn't be because I I costed being in the Falklands and my hands can't actually grab a steering wheel. Well, that's probably why you crashed. No, so I wouldn't even know how to drive the top. And my feet can't press pedals. So, uh, well, automatic. So you need to still need to press the pedal at the start when you're driving an automatic car. And I can't look. Look at my feet. That's because I was in the Falklands. They do see. How are you doing that? How you I'm been sitting on my bum and just raising my legs in the air? And they do seem pretty useless. Yeah, they are. Also, that's why I couldn't have sex with anyone because of that. Because of those look, those legs. I don't think that's true. Well, I'd like to see it prove otherwise. That's all I can say. I'd just like to see it prove. You look very tired. I am very tired. Yeah. yeah. I oh, like that when you've been up all night shagging fourteen-year-olds, eh? No, I don't. I don't um, understand what you're saying. Oh, uh, we still we still on air? Yeah, we're still on air. Oh, uh, ah, ha 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 ha! Prince Andrew, there, jealous of the success of Princess Diana, even though she's dead. So, um, oh, I was going to say we'll leave it, but we got to do we got to do uh, one more, or two more things. Here we go. Hooray. You've lived another year and you haven't even died Though cancer may be secretly creeping deep inside If you think that's worth a party, your brain's also going wonky Let's get an Eeyore or a kick from the reluctant birthday donkey Eeyaw, eeyaw, why can't I die? Eeyaw, eeyaw, oh, why is this still happening? Why is it still going on? Oh, God, I wish I was dead. Uh, is the other donkey coming in today? No, you couldn't make anything to do with him. It was all right. It was working okay. Um, we've got a few birthdays to get through. Um, please, could donkey give some Eeyore's kicks to my friend Colin, who I've known for 20 years, says Laura Herbert. Here's some info about him. Here's a picture of him. Colin, he's 40. He's, there's a picture of him with me. Looks like a... Yeah, back to the usual sort of ugly, twisted, weird-looking men, right? That's a bit rude. That's your, that's your, that's your, that's your basic customers. I don't say you. Just pretend that you think they're attractive. Um, I was joking about that. Colin looks lovely. Colin looks... He's no Louis. He's no Louise Door, is he? Um, he lives in Stockport with his wife. He's got married. <laughs> she works in IT. He loves mince pies throughout the year, like some kind of Ben Goldacre Christmas cake guy. He's a massive fan of the King of the World. I'm learning so much about him. Um, thanks a lot. I apologise for the rubbish pick, because I don't own a personal laptop or PC, as I'm skint, and I can't use my work one, as it's too secure. <laughs> There's a nice bit of detail about Laura. Thanks again, and good luck with the homeschooling. I used to... No, we don't need to talk about that. I won't say that just in case you don't want to... She knows how difficult it is to work with other motivated people. Just in case she doesn't want that personal detail read out. Um, so it seems that uh, Colin is 40 years old. How about 40 Eeyores for Colin? Oh, no, I, I, please let me die. Go on, do it. Eeyore, 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 Eeyore. This can't be me doing it, can it? Because I've got a bad throat. Imagine how much that would hurt if that was if I was doing this. Eeyore, Eeyore, Eeyore. Why did why did you stop when I was talking? I I got the lightness. Eeyore, Eeyore, yeah. Um, Steve Brads says he doesn't live in Stockport because uh, he knows everyone who lives there. So I'm suspecting we've been uh, punked. Thank you. Happy birthday, Colin. Uh, the next one is uh, Gerard. 
Youngster, 28 years old. He's the punchline to a joke. Um, this is from Jack. Uh, my boyfriend Gerard is turning 20 on February the 1st. And I just want everyone to know that uh, Twitch are fun. That rainbow isn't there just because we like rainbows. We welcome all kinds of people here. <laughs> and everyone's welcome in the birthdays. Uh, and Gerard, I mean, no, he looks a bit dopey in that main picture. But in the other pictures, some of which have my face put into them very handsome young man and it's nice to know we're getting some of the pink pound coming oh no we didn't charge for this do we should think about that it's a lucrative market they don't have kids so they don't have kids so <laughs> shut up Richard yeah I will shut up I'm just being silly thank you thank you to uh, Jack for sending in he's been trying to buy his first flat for the past few months what he's 28 years old how's he managing that and he's finally managed to buy one today so I want to wish him special congratulations on becoming a homeowner as I assumed there'd be no hope in hell of him ever managing to do something so grown up. And also, he's 28. How's he affording to buy a house in the current market? He's been working from home in his mum's kitchen since first lockdown and gradually losing the plot. What a plonker. I just... Uh, people who can't hold it together mentally during lockdown, I just feel sorry for those guys. They kind of hear stuff going on that isn't there. They look crazy. Um, <laughs> I thought some Eeyores from... Oh, he wants Eeyores as well. No, no, he's only 28. He's, a, he's, I mean, he's practically too young. He's a child. 28, he's nearly born in the 21st century. Oh, God. Uh, this might restore him. To, uh, if the card's too boring to feature, I understand, says Jack. Oh, it's heartbreaking. I won't hold my feeling of crushing rejection against you. It's all right, Jack. You don't have to. Uh, and he agrees that Pliny is one of the best things Stuart Lee has ever done. And it is, it really is. This is for Gerard. Uh, you don't get fan that he's Gerard. He's, 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 Gerard is, a, you know, it's lovely to have someone called Gerard. He's got a degree. Uh, he's got Man of Achievement 1974 there, though I'm sure he was didn't. He's got a stone clear as badge on his thing. He's got a picture of me and me with his arms around us. And me and, I um, guess, Jack with his arms around I don't know. They look like a lovely couple of young men. Is all I can say. Oh, God, I'm 53 years old. <sighs> no wonder people get themselves into trouble, in it, on social media and stuff. Ah, oh, heavens. Uh, no wonder Jim Davidson starts spouting all that nonsense, is it? Oh! Um, 28 years old he is. Let's do 28, 28 more. Oh, ew, it's, it's bad for me, mate. I didn't want to. I'd rather you do the jumps. Doing properly. Tiny eight. Thank you very much. That was very good. Uh, Chimpatot says the mug I'm drinking at is five years older than Jared. It's nice to have a young fan. So thank you very much for enjoying the show. Uh, you know, it gives me hope for the future generations that I can still work because you know my fans are. Dying out, like, uh, I don't know, they've got 184, that's one of my friends there, Gene Clark. Uh, and I would also like to wish a very happy birthday to a long-term fan. She was once 28 years old, but she is no longer 28 years old. Uh, Christina Martin, who you may recognise from the pages of Viz. Uh, she used to write to me three or four times a week uh, during Fist of Fun, and when she was not 41 years old. Um, me and Stu uh, and uh, is now my wife's one of my wife's if not best friend and also is a good friend of mine as well it's a very strange way the world can turn around she's one of the funniest uh, people in the United Kingdom if not the world uh, and uh, she is 41 years old last Saturday she made this picture of herself looking sad with a cake and donkey with your permission I would like to uh, do a magic button for it. Do you could you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Sir, sensors show it as solid, but its composition is unknown to us. What's that? His face. This is so exciting. <laughs> Ooh. I'm in space. I'm ahead in space. Hello. Wow, 
Now this goes on forever. Hello. Um, go back. Go back, or I will float in space. What you got? Give us what you got. Is what should we say? Seconds of this. Lock phases on target. Phases locked. No. On target, sir. Z. Fire main phases. <laughs> ah, my face. My beautiful face. Oh, this is going to be the entire episode. Wow. That was something, wasn't it? There you go, Christina. Happy birthday. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was good. Thank you, Chris Evans. Not that one. Uh, and I believe his sister helped him with that as well. Uh, well, look, that's the end of the show. Um, but I feel that there's one more birthday that we should have made a bigger deal about. Um, he's You're older than all of those people's birthdays put together. I think 81, uh, 90, 110. Yeah, you are. That would be 110. Um 109 maybe and you're 129 years young Ali yes and all your friends I can't get them all up at once yes it's me Sally I'd just like to say happy birthday just from the docks that was Sally yes that's good hey you alright Sally yes I'm fine thank you thank you for asking that's fine don't move your mouth while she's talking I know sorry I got confused yes I'm fine I'm in the dock well that's good um we won't have you Donkey, can I think you, Donkey, should sing? <laughs> we haven't planned this, have we? You haven't planned it. What have you got in mind? I think you should sing um, uh, Stevie Wonder's Happy Birthday to You. Isn't that the Martin Luther King? Yeah, yeah, but it still works. Do it for Ali instead of Martin Luther King. Isn't that very offensive? Uh, it's not as offensive as what happens in trading places. So, um, uh, I don't know the words. Just make up the words. That's what we do in this song. So it doesn't make much sense. Uh, 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 that and then knows the is eventually a kiss down the uh, 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 didn't have the day where he uh, 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 could be celebrated with a celebration. Uh, so let the people sing that Ali is the king and the king of the world, and everybody knows that this is how it goes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I wish I had ears. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And all the world will sing thanks to Ali, who is the king of the world and the king of the world and the king of the world. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. You know, it came out okay. Fucking one hour ten. Okay, Denis. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you. Maybe see you next week. Maybe I'll have a week off. Uh, we're doing Snooker on Monday, and we're doing Rahula Stapa with Danny O'Brien. Uh, Danny O'Brien, I was going to say, because he played Brian O'Green, with um, <laughs> Danny Danny Robbins uh, uh, on Wednesday. Also, on Saturday the 6th, I'm live streaming two Rahula Stapas from the Clapham Grand. Five o'clock with Nish Kumar, 6.45 with Lou Sanders. If you look at richtown.com slash gigs, you can see a link. It costs £7 per gig. But if you've been enjoying all of these shows for free, it would be lovely if you... Oh, no, the magical illusion's been ruined. Um, it would be lovely if you felt like coming and watching those live on Saturday. I don't know if they'll be able to interact. They might. We might be able to. Uh, richtown.com slash gigs. Do check those out. 6th of February, Nish Kumar, Lou Sanders. Two fantastic Rahalas was in a theatre without a live audience, but still it'll be nice to be face to face with some actual human beings. What do you mean? I'm the natural human being. Yeah, you're not really. Goodbye, everyone. Take care. I feel much better for having talked to you all.
the king, though, out. 